Hey guys, welcome back. If you're watching this and you've already watched all the other nine episodes, then congratulations. You've finished building this social media posting board thing out. And yeah, we're just going to take a quick look over what we've built and then I'll show you some modifications I've made to just tidy things up a bit. So what we've built is we've built a yeah, YouTube social media posting board so we can submit YouTube links and people can interact with them, comment on them. So if I just grab a YouTube link here, just say um, Despacito uh, at a post body, this is Despacito, submit that, and then we'll see that their post has been submitted and we can see it here, we can click on it to play it, that is just going to play in an iframe, and then if we click and we see our post body here. If this is larger than uh, 150 characters, this will truncate down our timestamp. And then if we click into the post to the replies, we can add a reply here. So we'll say, when is Despacito 2 coming? And you can reply within replies. So you can chain the replies. And then we'll say, um, soon. So you can see that that is, you know, that is the functionality we have, and yeah, we've we've done this in Laravel for the Laravel Lumen for the backend, and we've used Vue.js. So there's there there are no page refreshes in between um, going through routes, and yeah, this app just works nicely together, and yeah, I think that it has turned out pretty good. So um, as you might have already noticed, I've added the invisible invisible recapture. So usually people don't have to answer a captcha, but it's still protected against spam. Um, so if you want to uh, implement this yourself, I'm not going to do a whole episode on this, but you can check out this commit, which I will leave in the description, where you can see all the code that is used for this uh, functionality. And yeah, it's it's actually not that difficult. So <coughs> if you've been able to follow along the, along all the other stuff, I think you'll you'll manage. And I've also tidied some things up. So if you go into a post, and yeah, as you can see right here, I added a timestamp, and I've also fixed the container. So um, to do that, you'll add this code. And yeah, you can find all that stuff in this commit, which I will also leave in the description. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching along. If you've follow these tutorials and yeah let me know in the description what you want to see next as a tutorial and then I'll catch you in the next series bye